Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the final ECW before WrestleMania. And as you can already see, and as you can already hear from the reaction within the arena here in Miami, it is Corin in the ring to open the show, following up from his disgusting antics at the end of last week's edition. Just days before he faces Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, and a week on from where he powerbombed Diamond Dallas Page to that concrete floor. This man is sick. Absolutely sick. Cat is finally being let out of the bag once and for all. Corin hates Seth Rollins. All he needed to do was to be honest. We didn't have to go through everything that has led itself up to this moment. Corin wants WrestleMania to be the resting place of the ECW as we know it. He does not want to burn it. He wants to subject it to misery. And Trevor Lee stands in the ring in this moment. Even if apparently Corin didn't want him there. Well, this is interesting. What is the... Oh! What is, are we seeing a revolt in the Clockwork Project as Trevor Lee just turned on Corin? What is, what is Lee a two? It's not Trevor Lee! That is a look we have not seen in years! It is Seth Rollins and Corin face to face with no one to stop him. Here we go. How many weeks, how many months have we waited for this? And we've got it. Corin said, bring the God of Rollins is half black, half blonde hair. Synonymous, iconic. And it's Rollins who goes on the offensive for once. Last week with a little fire within all of ECW and but not more than that man right there. They are hours away from meeting one another at WrestleMania, but the fight that has spilled for weeks across every venue that ECW has been in. It's just destined to continue on here tonight. Corin sent into the crowd by Rollins, and Rollins will follow suit. WrestleMania be damned for these two absolutely better rivals right now.
the most anticipated match there has ever been. The biggest WrestleMania match we have seen. Finally all coming to a head in just a few days time, but they haven't waited for WrestleMania. They want to get it out of the way now. Corrin went on the offensive there in the crowd, but it's Rollins coming back with forearms. And uppercuts back in Corrin up. Hell, they might fight all the way here for Miami. Downstate to Tampa Bay. Face first there. Goes Corrin. And Rollins is on the offensive. Corrin is backpedaling. Last week, officially cracked Seth Rollins, and Corrin is finding out that the repercussions of his actions may not have been worth what he undertook on that evening. Rollins kicks him away, and he sends him backstage. The two men spilling into the backstage area, and we will catch up to them. Which we have a camera available back there, but this is a fight that you feel is going to be going on all night long, all weekend long, and will finally culminate in the main event of WrestleMania. What a chaotic opening. Perhaps the thesis can finally be put to bed. Perhaps the GOAT truly is back we can hope so that much is for certain welcome everyone to the final edition of ECW before Wrestlemania a massive episode on its way for you, for you tonight and we are kicking things off with Mark Andrews of the British Empire before he faces Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship he is going to be facing of all people his son Dominic Mysterio in this edition of ECW. It has been almost purely British Empire heading into WrestleMania. And we saw last week that Mark Andrews was willing to take things a step too far. Kept on calling out the name of Dominic Mysterio. And finally, Dominic had enough and cracked. He stood up for his father. And in the process, he showed us that he's not just a son pridefully fighting for his father, but that he might have a trick or two up his sleeve here tonight. There stands Dominic Mysterio, coming out to a very similar entrance, and in a way, a very similar look, akin to his father, Ray. This is a massive undertaking for Dominic Mysterio. Is it going to be the wise decision is the question. We're going to find out right now. I mean, I admire Dominic Mysterio. Don't get me wrong. Things went way too far between Mark Andrews and Rey Mysterio. And Dominic Mysterio had to step in. But is it going to be the right thing to do? We'll find out. Mark Andrews, Dominic Mysterio to start things off on ECW. Dominic Mysterio has the look, and we saw a move or two from him last week, but you know, this is the big leagues. That's the number one contender right there. And oh, Dominic sidesteps him. Dominic sidesteps him. There is Swats away the drop kick. All right, maybe Dominic's got something to show. We'll bear a bulldog. Okay, maybe Dominic Mysterio is, more, is much more than just standing up for his dad. Look at this man, go! Mysterio in, neck crank face buster there early on, hooks the leg. Imagine if he put away Mark Andrews. It's only a count of one, but... This is a good start from Dominic Mysterio. It has to be said, he's taken the fight to Mark Andrews here. But Andrews has isolated Dominic's youthful exuberance in the starting uh, moment there and taking the fight to him. And now Andrews, a wily old fox who is days away perhaps, or maybe even less than a day, from becoming 
potentially the next ECW Cruiserweight Champion. And as he put it, trying to put away the career of Rey Mysterio for good. But not if Dominic Mysterio has anything to say about it here tonight. Sunset Flat Power Bomb. Oh, we've got a counter too. Mark Andrews really is getting the bit between his teeth. He is really getting showing what Dominic Mysterio is all about. And look, Mark Andrews steps out of the ring. Almost taking a breather on the outside. You can see that the Dominic Mysterio may have got under the skin of this man a little bit here. Mysterio, desperate to try and capitalize you. Wants to follow up on that opening. Allowed Mark Andrews to sneak in. Wily as ever from Mark Andrews, who just a few months ago you would not have ever assumed to see this attitude, but he is fully committed towards the identity of the British Empire. But Dominic Mysterio simply moved out of the way right there and then of that attempted Phoenix Splash. And he's capitalizing. Check this out! Dominic Mysterio has been making one hell of a breakout performance so far, but there is still quite some ways to go in this contest with Mark Andrews. And I feel that the more this contest goes on, the more fired up Mark Andrews gets, and maybe, just maybe, the more likely we could be to see some outside inf interference from the British Empire. But if we do, will the hand of Rey Mysterio be forced out as well? Big time Spanish fly there from... Mark Andrews as well, and he is in total control here now of Dominic Mysterio. And listen to the boos rain out as he had Dominic Mysterio pinned down there. The crowd is certainly on the side here of Rey Mysterio's son. And Andrews, though, just as, as talented as ever. May not like him, and I certainly don't, but he knows what he's doing in that ring. That is why he's the number one contender, and that is why he could well be Cruiserweight Champion at WrestleMania. But Dominic Mysterio again, trying to launch a fight back there against Mark Andrews, but Andrews stops it, holds the arm, and oh! Like a whipcord kick in the face there. And this is certainly a welcome to the WWE for Dominic Mysterio. And Mark Andrews now is giving him the more informal part of the introduction. Dominic Mysterio certainly had a lot of fight in him, there's no doubt about that. But right now, it just doesn't seem to... Come on. Come on, Mark. You're better than this, man. Oh, but that may have been a mistake. Dominic Mysterio has found more life in him. Those words there may have fired up Dominic Mysterio. For one more surge within him. Up to the top rope. Oh, seen it set down by Dom. Ducks the clothesline. Springboard crossbody. Andrews on the back foot, Sunset Flip, no chance, kick upside the head. He invoked his father's name to his face in the ring, in a match, and he woke up Dominic Mysterio, but only for a moment, only for a moment. Look at this now. Andrews again just comes back with the shot to take Mysterio down. Tilt a whirl, spiking DDT. You're Rey Mysterio and you're watching this. How, how much more do you watch your Mark Andrews beating your own son before you have to step in? This is definitely, in recent weeks, gone far beyond that ECW Cruiserweight Championship. All because of Mark Andrews. And Andrews might be looking to finish it here. Look at this. Cross-legged STF like a motor lock. Transitioned into an STF Yeah, That arm deep under the, the, the chin of Dominic Mysterio. But credit to the youngster. He ain't fighting out. Good on you, Dom. 
Dominic keeps fighting, but it's all in vain! Stun Dog Millionaire! And Mark Andrews is ready to put the finishing pieces to this one. Dom, you fought with the heart worthy of a Mysterio. But tonight wasn't enough. Tyranny! Andrews hooks the leg. Mark Andrews beats Dominic Mysterio. You know what, in a way, I hope that's not the end of what we see of Dominic Mysterio in a wrestling ring because he had plenty of talent on show. But Mark Andrews is at the top of his game right now. And that was a statement message to send to the father, Rey Mysterio, just before they meet for the Cruiserweight title. Victory comes the way of Mark Andrews and Dominic Mysterio brought back into the ring here by Mark Andrews. It... Leave it there, Mark. Leave it there. You're better than this. You're so much better than this. Don't go there. Come on, Mark, don't go there. Leave it for WrestleMania. This is too far. This is way too far. It's Gibson now. Gibson getting into the ring here. Come on, guys. Come on. This is too far. This is too much. What are they going to do to him? Nothing! If there's no can see anything about him, Mysterio has seen enough! Dominic spill to the outside! But here comes Rey Mysterio! Mysterio sends Gibson packing! But... Oh, Andrews takes advantage! Rey Mysterio has seen enough! Stepped up for his son, but now Mark Andrews has Rey Mysterio right where he wants him. Or does he? No one on the dropkick. Face buster by Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has Mark Andrews down, but Gibson from behind. Ah, oh, back suplex. Spike and Mysterio on his head. Rey Mysterio stepped in the line of fire and pushed his son out of the way. And now for Mysterio, it's him on the receiving end of the punishment. The British Empire have him right where they want him. Helter Skelter. From Zach Gibson, Dominic down on the outside. And soon to be Ray down on the inside. The British Empire of up the Mysterios. Tyranny. Ray Mysterio stood up for his son. The same way his son had done for him. But he met the same fate. Will this be the fate of Ray Mysterio at WrestleMania? Will there be a new ECW Cruiserweight Champion? Will his name be Mark Andrews?
And here they go again in the backstage area. Corin and Rollins are continuing on with their fight. We just saw McIntyre take care of Orton, but it's these two that have got all the headlines right now. From the top of the show to this moment, and it's a WrestleMania to go with it as well. The fight just keeps on spilling between these two men. We know Whittle of Rest. We know that it's WrestleMania, but we know that WrestleMania is still some ways away as well for these two men. It must feel like an eternity as Rollins' is back was sent into that brick wall. And it's Corin in control now, stomping away on Rollins. Oh, look out. Oh, sit out your Anagi slam on the backstage flooring. Look at this, and it's all core in here. Finally, and it's not a good thing to say at all, but finally it seems Corin has some one-upsmanship over Rollins, but Rollins says otherwise. The tit for tat is just spilling on between these two men. Look, oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Oh, on the chair! Rollins' his head dumped on the chair there. Wait, is that... It's Tyler Bate! Bate and Corrin have had plenty of their issues in the past. And Bate has seen enough here tonight. Bate was laid out backstage by Corrin a number of weeks ago before Corrin accepted the challenge for WrestleMania. And Bate has allowed Rollins a moment to get away, a moment to recover. Oh no, but it all may have been in vain. Oh! These two long standing rivals lock horns again. Bate may have just sacrificed himself for Rollins. A sickening power bomb out of the production crate there for Tyler Bay. But Rollins is back! Yeah. Poison Rana! Yeah. And the fight spills on! Look out! Rollins here! Check that out! Is it? They're, they're keeping their fight going for as long as they can, for as long as the show is on the air, and maybe even longer! We gotta move on here on ECW, but this fight is far from over. And who knows where it'll end up before it reaches Tampa Bay and WrestleMania. We don't know that, but... But we know what's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, ring the bells, grab your attention. We got ourselves a horse fight. Tomohiro Ishii versus Rusev. Days before they meet in a six man ladder match at WrestleMania. That will involve Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre, as we just saw, and Adam Cole and Hiromu Takahashi, who will collide after this matchup. And don't forget, we've still got that massive six man tag main event between the Revival, Alistair Black taking on Los Angeles de Japón. There has almost not been a moment to think about that with all that has gone on here in this go-home show before WrestleMania. We might not have a moment to think about it because of the host match that is coming our way. Rusev and Ishii, you feel as if this match was destined to happen ages ago. On the night that Rusev lost his TV title to Adam Cole. You felt as if it was supposed to be Rusev versus Ishii on that night. But LIJ assaulted Ishii backstage and stopped us from ever having that match until now. We saw it last week. Rusev was about to lock Adam Cole in the accolade once again when Ishii made his way out to the ring, 
stand face to face with a Bulgarian brute and said, I hope you didn't forget about me. And it certainly seems as if Rusa didn't. And as if this crowd didn't forget that this match could be happening either. There is some meat about to be slapped right now. Let's go! Bell rings! Ishii takes him down! It's amazing for all that Rusev goes about doing. There is a part of you that can't help but like him. Because he's a hoss. And we love a hoss here in the WWE. Back body drop down goes Ishii. Neck crack follow up, no one home. This is going to be 100 miles an hour of hoss. Big, bad hossery. Lariat, counted. Shoulder tackle. Well, these two guys certainly can't stay up on one another's feet. A brunt force of each other's shots have already brought them down. Rusev charging in, went for the big boot, Ishii. Able to swat it away there. Irish whip, Ishii's turn, headbutt, no one home. Oh, what a kick. That is an almost 300 pound man lifting his fit, lifting his boot all the way up to the head of Ishii. What a fall away slam. Right down on the ribs there. And maybe even the kidney. Oh, Tomohiro Ishii, but he can't capitalize. Ishii turns him around, has the back hooked in. Big back suplex. Rusev swats him down there, points down at him, and Ishii says, I'm up here, bring it all. Well, Rusev brought it. Almost feels as if for these two guys, the ladder match for the television title doesn't matter. It's not about building momentum or anything to that match. It's just about fighting each other. That's all they've wanted to do. And they're getting to do it right now. Alabama slam! What the hell? What the hell? Why? Why would we expect anything more than a zero count between these two? Overhead toss there from Rusev and look at Ishii! The man's pulling himself up! And he moves out of the way! Ishii runner! Yeah, this might be match of the year already. This might be everything that you want from a professional wrestling match. Who gives a damn about the ladder match now? Just put these guys on at WrestleMania. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Rusev to the top rope. Are you sure about this big man? Oh, it took too long and Ishii moved out of the way of that knee strike there. Ishii, look out, suplex, tombstone! Got all that strength up and gets a one count out of it. <laughs> yep, this is madness, but this is what we wanted. Matchka kick! Cover! One! Even that can only get one. Rusev is in. Look at the strike. Ishii rolls. Lariat! But Rusev right back with a headbutt. Right hand. Ishii gives up the back kiss. Oh, Saito suplex. What a knife edge shot that follows up. Listen to those series of knife edge chops for there. And look at Rusev here. Brutal knees into the ribs of Ishii over and over again. He still holds on and launches him for a fall away slam. That was mega. But Ishii counters it right up. Oh my god. 
He just slapped him in the face. Ishii, Lariat! Get up, Rusev! Lariat! Ishii's got plenty more where that came from. Lariat! Into Powerbomb! And he's going to the top rope now! Ishii! Top rope! Rusev staggered! Top rope! Lariat! Kick in the gut! What a sequence! Vertical drop! Brain Buster! Ishii hooks the leg! Ishii beats Rusev decisively! No shenanigans! No outside interference! No underhanded tactics! Just a beefy boy with one hell of a lariat arm! What a sprint of a match that was! Rusev beaten by Ishii! The Stone Pitbull has it all to... No! Hiromu from behind! Hiromu from behind and Ishii, he locks it D! He locks it D! Trying to choke out Ishii! Before WrestleMania! Just before they meet! You might want to let that go, Hiromu! Because your rival is on the way! Adam Cole is heading to the ring! And listen to the ovation! For this man. He has waited a long time to get his hands on Hiromu Takahashi. He has waited the entire, it feels like the entire time he's been television champion for this moment. And now he gets it. Hiromu let go. Scarper to the outside almost. Because he knows what is standing on that apron right now. The man who heads in with five targets pointed straight at him for that TV title. Where it will be hung 15 feet in the air on a ladder. But for Adam Cole tonight, all that matters is Hiromu Takahashi finally settling the score. Hiromu. Hiromu tried to cross the line there by attacking Ishii. But this is the man that you pay attention to. This is the man who you have crossed at all possible conventions. This is what we've waited for. And Adam Cole has gone straight for Hiromu Takahashi. And this fight can finally get itself underway. Look out here, Hiromu in, off the ropes. Oh, there we by Adam Cole, takes him down. We are wasting no time here. On the go-home show before WrestleMania. Straight back-to-back -back matches coming your way. Thanks in part to Hiromu Takahashi. Look, Hiromu backing himself up. Adam Cole comes charging and Hiromu takes him down. We saw Hiromu's involvement in the gauntlet match last week that led Alistair Black to becoming the number one contender to the ECW uh, Championship. It has to be said that by getting a crowbar to the face last week, Hiromu surprisingly seems to have escaped it in a much better way than, Tetsu than uh, Alistair Black did. Tiger Bomb there, both men trading one counts. Oh, big boot there. You saw there though in the early stages, Hiromu backing up there to the other side of the ring. I think he's trying to use Adam Cole's vendetta against him to his advantage. But now it seems that has gone against him because Cole has him right where he wants him. And he's waited weeks 
to get his hands on Hiromu. All that running from Hiromu is, uh, from Adam Cole as well. And just when Adam Cole looked like he had him last week, Rusev arrived to put dividends to that. But now Adam Cole and Hiromu locked in the ring. Nowhere for Hiromu to go right now. In trouble, in the cusp of Adam Cole's hands. Adam Cole is making him pay for all that he has done. Leading up to WrestleMania. Ten times over, the head goes into the ring post. And Adam Cole takes a look at the man who has caused so much chaos. Who may have caused this match at WrestleMania to be a six-man ladder match. Look out here. Duck gun down. Oh! Face first. Into the knee there. Oh, for Romu's boot when Adam Cole's face. Maybe a few teeth dislodged as well. Check it out though. Cole comes back. Nice forearm there. You can feel the vendetta in the air, certainly on the side of Adam Cole. But Hiromu, I was expecting a little bit more typical LIJ actions from this man, but I think Hiromu's got plenty of bad blood as well with Adam Cole, because he's taking the fight to him. He's not trying to cut corners here. Adam Cole with a cross body from the top rope. Hooks the leg. Has he beaten Hiromu Takahashi? No, kick out of two. Adam Cole isn't letting up. Oh, went for a big move there. Hiromu moved out of the way. Good counter from the man. Up on the shoulders. Dynamite plunger. Stacked up. Shoulders down. Yes, Cole gets the shoulder up in time or two. Of course, it won't be about pinfalls or submissions at WrestleMania. It will be about climbing that ladder and retrieving the ECW television title that will hang above it. But it's good to head into WrestleMania having settled the score with your biggest rival. And that is exactly what Adam Cole wants to do here with Hiromu Takahashi. Dragon Runner! Cover! One count! Oh no. Was Hiromu perhaps eyeing up the time bomb there? If he did, Adam Cole tell, told him it ain't happening. Cole has him in and he's gonna dump him down on his head. A move straight out of the playbook of Tetsuya Naito. But that straight out of the playbook of Adam Cole. Last shot. Bring on the Panama Sunrise. Revenge tastes so sweet. But Aromu denying Adam Cole the chance to taste it. Up to his feet. Hiromu. Wait, oh yes! Hiromu went for the low blow. Adam Cole needed him in the face. Hiromu's running. But he ain't running far. Ishii throws him back into the ring. The stone pit bull was waiting. And Adam Cole will capitalize. Last shot again. Hiromu costs Ishii the television title. And Ishii has no problem in making sure that Hiromu meets his fate. Panama Sunrise. Adam Cole hooks the leg. And after weeks of torment, Adam Cole beats Takahashi. Hiromu taken down. And tonight, he felt the boom. Victory for the champion before he heads into WrestleMania. Before the ladder comes out to play and the title is hung above the ring. Cole oh! Claymore, wait! RKO! Orton was lying in wait. He stands tall. But not for long. 
Ishii! Brain Buster to Orton! Bodies lie everywhere! Ishii the only one standing in the ring and Rusev on the outside with the accolade on Hiromu! It is chaos tonight! And it will be pandemonium at WrestleMania! But will that man there be your next television champion? Will the title finally come home to the Stone Pit Ball? We will be finding out at WrestleMania what a bad it is going to be. That six-man ladder match. All those bodies we just saw at ringside and in the ring. Finally selling the score with a television title hung firmly above it. Are the days of Adam Cole's reign numbered. We will find out, but we can announce for you that Mark Andrews and Rey Mysterio, of course we know they'll meet at WrestleMania, but they will headline the first night of the pre-show at WrestleMania. That one, definitely one of the most personal bouts at WrestleMania. But then we lead into ECW versus LIJ. We know that this is gonna be a big one, and we know they're gonna collide up next. Los Ingobernables de Japón, Evil and Solana versus The Revival for the ECW Tag Team titles. Plenty of bad blood spilled before this one. But of course we know what the big match is all about in terms of ECW and LIJ. Alistair Black versus Tetsuya Naito. Black ran the gauntlet. He may only have one seeing eye, but it is enough. And will it be the destino of Black to conquer Naito at WrestleMania? And then the main event. The match that we have longed for is finally on its way. The final match of night two of WrestleMania. Seth Rollins versus Corin. This long-standing feud finally comes to an end at the grandest stage of them all. We are moments away, it feels like, from WrestleMania. But we are certainly moments away from the final main event before WrestleMania. What an ovation for the man who ran the gauntlet and succeeded. For the hand of vengeance that will hopefully be dealt LIJ's way for the number one contender, Alistair Black. Evil, Sonata, Hiromu, they fell last week to Alistair Black in, in part courtesy of a name that has been sorely missed in ECW, Johnny Gargano. But Black did it. And he gets Naito at WrestleMania for the ECW Championship, but might he get him here tonight in this ring? Black will team with the Revival to face Evil Sonata and Naito. But what will LIJ have up their sleeve? Because you know this is going to be no simple six-man tag team match. There's no way it could be. It will be chaos. It will be pandemonium. It will be everything that LIJ wants it to be. But could it end in that man right there, drilling the black mass into the face of Naito? A long-deserved black mass. The Naito has dodged for far too long. We will find out right about now. Black with a massive ovation. For wait, 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 wait! Naito! Naito here! Black has seen him! Naito with the ti- Naito with the title! Oh my god! What has he done to that? What has he done to the title? And again into the head of Black! That was the damage that he did at Cork and all. And Naito has full advantage over Black in the ring and it's backstage where the fight is brewing. In the parking lot, it's Scott Dawson and Evil 
and further backstage, it's Dash Wilder and Sonata. It is panda. It is absolute chaos. All over the arena here in Miami. Oh look out! Oh, Dawson sent it to the side of the car. Evil. I don't know who started this. Was it LIG? Was it the revival? We don't know. But what we oh my god, what we know is that Scott Dawson's back crashed onto the hood of the car. But meanwhile, it's Wilder fighting back with a oh, oh, drilling that into the face of Sonata. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, Night Dung still in control of Black here with that disfigured, dismembered, disgraced ECW title laying in the ring. And now look who have found themselves backstage here. Wilder and Evil rocking horns now. Dawson and Sonata down. Evil and, da and Wilder still very much on their feet before they are meeting for the tag team titles. I don't think there's a six-man tag on its way here tonight. I think it is all chaos all over the place here. Back at ringside, Naito fairly in control. Back hasn't had an inch of action here in, in this fight back against Naito. And Dash Wilder was just sent into the office of ECW by Evil. That's the general manager's office. Oh, head first. Head first went Dash Wilder into that table there. Evil has the upper hand now. Come on, Wilder, you gotta fight back here. You gotta do something. You've gotta fight back somehow, some way. What is Evil gonna do here? He's got Wilder up on his shot. Wait a minute. No! Oh! That desk had no give. And Dash Wilder found that out. Evil walks off. Back at ringside. Naito with that title. Black in trouble. He's gonna drill the title into his head again. Johnny Gargano! Gargano Shear! And he's face to face with Naito! For the first time since the Rumble! Naito backs away! Black's got the crowbar! Naito's running for it! Get him, Black! Get him! Oh, damn it! Naito ran for it and used his cowardice to spring the trap. Destino, Black says otherwise. Alistair Black counters Destino and finally he's got his hands on Naito. His compatriots have been taken care of tonight. It is all about Black and Naito here. Gargano provided the opportunity and he walks off, he leaves this because it's Alistair Black's moment, it's Alistair Black's time. Long has he waited for this, slice the throat, drill the knee. Vengeance has dealt its hand tonight and it's final move. Black Mass! No! Naito evaded it, sidestepped it, and runs for it like the coward that he is! He could keep running all he wants! But WrestleMania, there is nowhere to run, there's nowhere to go! He will have to step into the ring with Black! L.I.J. versus ECW in its purest form at WrestleMania. Wait! In the background! They're still going! Corin and Rollins are still fighting shit! Black is staring down with Naito! He's none the wiser!
But these two men certainly are. Corey instead rolling down the ramp. And they have crossed eyes for the very first time. Neither man has a fan in this arena, as you hear from the reaction. But right now, Corin has Rollins right where he wants him. Stomping away here at Rollins. Is there any fight left within Rollins? There better be, because Corin's going to have something sick up his sleeve before WrestleMania. Wait, no, he's going to do the rain killer on the stage ramp. Rollins, yes, Rollins fights out of it. Come on, Seth. Seth fights on. Architects annihilation. Do it. Come on. Finally, he's going up on him. Finally, Corin gets what he deserves. Rollins stands tall over Corin. We will see you at WrestleMania.